Today we're checking out the EcoFlow Delta 2 and for the money, it's hard to beat. This is a complete solar power system or a solar generator. It has a lithium iron phosphate battery, inverter circuit so you can run AC loads, and a solar charge controller. And the battery is expandable, and it has fast AC charging, and you can connect your own solar panels. And this entire system is $799, which is absolutely mind-boggling. Not long ago, you could never buy this much capacity with these features for that much money. Even today, a Battleborn battery with almost the same capacity as this is $925. Now obviously there are cheaper options than this, but that's crazy. These are getting cheaper and cheaper every day. So we're going to make a quick video testing out the basic features and then we're going to compare it to the Anchor Powerhouse series. And I really like those solar generators and they're about the same price. So we'll see how they compare. So first let's turn it on. And in the back we have the AC outlets and you can turn these on by pressing this button. And this is a pure sine wave inverter and the max output is 1800 watts. And the surge is 2700 watts. So you could actually run power tools off of this thing. So let's plug in some loads. Now we have 731 watts and now we're gonna add a heat gun. And the cooling fans are on. That's practically 1800 watts. Let's see how long we can run it for. That is pretty impressive given the size of battery. This thing only has a thousand watt hour battery. So this is almost a 2C rate. And the battery is draining quick. We only get three minutes of this load. In less than three minutes, I downloaded the app and I'm connecting this thing to Wi-Fi. And it's connected, but it is about to die. We're at 2% now. Okay, we've been stuck at one minute for like five minutes now. <laughs> and now it's dead, holy cow. Now that the battery is dead, we're gonna charge it up with AC power. And EcoFlow has fast charge technology. This battery is only a thousand watt hours, but we're gonna charge with 1200 watts. That's over a one C rate. Before EcoFlow, we had the Jackery and stuff, and it would take like 10 hours to charge. With this, it takes less than an hour. And it's easy to use, you just plug it in. Now that I think about it, sometimes the charging speed can be limited because the battery is hot. And that's not the case, it is charging quickly. Now let's see what's going on in the app and it shows that it's disconnected. And there's a spelling error in the app. I would not expect that from EcoFlow. They've been around for so long that that is not acceptable. Oh, there we go. And we're at 8%. How fast is that? That is crazy. Now, if you were to build a small system and you were to buy your own AC charger and it had the same capacity as this, it would cost a few hundred dollars. Those things are not cheap, especially for 12 volts. That's a lot of current, but it's included with this. You just buy it and plug it into a wall and it's cheap. It's crazy. Now, can we run the loads while it's charging quickly? Let's test that out. And look at that. It's running it. Now let's add the heat gun. Let's see if it can do 1800 watts in and 1800 watts out. Ah, oh, darn it. So let's turn it back on again. There we go, 1800 watts. Let's see how long it can run this for. Oh. It did not like that. Only one minute and it disconnected. I think it's too much heat for this thing. This thing's tiny. Look at it. Now it's charging back up. Let's run a smaller load and see what it can take. Let's just run the heat gun at max output, but without the lights. All right, it seems to like this load. It doesn't seem to mind it at all. Now let's add the 250 watt light. Now we're at 1700 watts and we'll see how long it can run for. Also, this is the intake and I have a heat gun right next to it, which is not the best. Now the input pretty much matches the output, so we're not really charging. It would take nine hours to charge this thing. Let's disconnect these loads. It seems to be running this one just fine. And we are still charging quickly. This is fantastic. On the older models, they would overheat when you had large loads and it would throttle the charging current, but it is holding up. Now let's test out the solar input. We're gonna connect the solar panel and see how fast we can charge. And this is the solar input right here. Oops. <gasps> no. 
There's no MC4 adapter, that's not good. This one's for 12 volts only, not for solar panels. And they sell that cable on Amazon for $30. So if you wanna use your own solar panels with MC4 adapters, you're gonna to have to buy that cable separately. Now it sucks that it doesn't come with that cable, but I understand that the people buying this are probably not gonna use it with solar panels. It's more of a small backup system that you can throw in your closet if the grid were to go down. So you can run your refrigerator and your cell phone and the basic essentials, but it's very smart to have a power source. Buy a solar panel and that cable, it's not expensive, and you could run your system indefinitely. Now the solar input says 11 to 60 volts DC, so if your solar panel is within this range, you can safely connect it. So most 12 and 24 volt panels, and also house panels, will produce under 60 volts, and you can safely connect it to this port. And this is a 400 watt panel, but first we're gonna check the voltage so we don't damage the EcoFlow Delta II. And if you flip it over, there should be a sticker. The VOC or the voltage open circuit on this is 49 volts, and that's below 60 volts, so we can safely connect this to the Delta II. And this is the special cable that we mentioned a second ago. And here's the Delta II. Man, is this like 20 pounds? It doesn't feel like anything, it's so light. And this is the other side of that special cable. So we're just gonna plug it in. And let's see if it starts charging. We are not charging with much power. It's early in the morning and that panel is actually in the shade. So let me move it and try to increase the output. And I did increase the output, but not by much. It is pretty cloudy out there. Now, whether you have a large EcoFlow, a small one, or even an anchor solar generator, they all use this adapter. So I can charge up all of these devices with that single 400 watt solar panel. But just check the voltage, make sure that it's not too high so you don't damage your products, but they can all use the same cable. Now let's talk about the difference between an EcoFlow and an anchor product. This is not a fair comparison, obviously, but Anchor actually sells this product, the Soul X F1200, and it's very comparable to the Delta II. But you will not believe how much more limited it is versus the Delta II, especially for the price. Anchor costs $1,100, so $300 more than this, but you can only connect 300 watts of solar panels to this. The Delta II can handle 500 watts and it's cheaper. And the output of the Anchor is 1500 watts. This thing is 1800 watts. But the Anchor has a larger capacity, but it's only 200 watt hours. Is that worth $300? I don't think so, absolutely not. But it does come with a solar charging cable. That's pretty much the only benefit I see here. And Anchor uses gallium nitride transistors in the inverter circuit. So these are very quiet. And I really like these units, but they cost quite a lot. And these are more powerful for less money. So I think most people would be happier with the Delta II. But that's not necessarily true with the Anchor 767. This thing is a beast and it can handle a lot of solar. And this unit can handle 1000 watts of solar, but you have to put the panels into parallel because the max input voltage is 60 volts. It's the same as the Delta II. But it's not a good deal. For $2,000 able to handle 1000 watts, this thing's 800 dollars and it can handle 500 watts you're better off buying two of these and you would save 400 dollars instantly so why would someone buy this and i think it's because of this gallium nitride this thing is so quiet if you have a video studio and you need a power source that's very quiet that's why people buy the anchor and i love this thing i can fill my videos and run my lights but it does cost a lot more. And for a full-time off-grid solar power system in a van or an RV, I would go with this any day. And sometimes these are on sale, so it gets even cheaper. For the money, I don't think anyone can beat EcoFlow. Um, the one feature that I wish that these things had was that the inverter could turn itself on if solar power is available. I've been requesting that for years. I heard that some models actually have it. I think the Delta Max has it, but the Delta Pro does not have it. It yet and I keep updating it I keep testing it and I really want to have that feature and I'm sure they're gonna come out with it soon but for most people for the money EcoFlow is probably the way to go I mean do a quick comparison to the other brands for example Blue Eddy their customer service and support and warranty claims is a nightmare um, next they have so 
software issues on new products. We even had software issues on the Anchor when it first came out, but the EcoFlow was absolutely more refined even when they were first released. And this thing is so light. I wonder how much it weighs. 27 pounds, it's only 27 pounds and they crammed all of that stuff in there. 500 watt solar panel. That's fantastic. And if you were to buy used solar panels, you could keep your whole system under $1,000. I mean, not long ago, you couldn't even buy a lithium iron phosphate battery for that much money. And now you can build a whole system for a small backup. That's incredible. So that's pretty much it for this video. I think currently EcoFlow is the king of solar generators. Um, this thing is amazing, but it costs a lot more money. So for most people, I think EcoFlow is gonna make them happy. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.